What is up guys, your boy Revan here today with another fantastic, and I mean really fantastic deck. So, I was thinking, you know what? We've got Weezing spread, we've got Noivern spread. You get the idea. So I was like, alright, let's combine those two and let's try what it's gonna be. And to my surprise, we've got a really, I think, a really good spread deck. I think that would be the best we have kind of right now. Uh, of course, you know, besides Dratina with Dioxus and, and their tag team. But all in all, uh, I think we've found a really nice baby spread deck that I just want to share with you guys today. So, before we're going to do that, there's a Twitch. Uh, I'm here from Monday to Friday, but also don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we are because we're only 20 subscribers away from a nice first place Volkner giveaway of 20 codes, and there's going to be on Friday a little giveaway. I will tell the details probably today on stream, but also uh, you'll see that on Friday. All right, so let's just jump right into it, Zach. Of course, uh, Neuvern, boom burst. This attack does 20 damage to all of your opponent's uh, Pokemon, right? Nothing more, nothing less, and uh, you don't apply weakness or resistance. Plus, we got also a secondary attack called Dragon Pulse for 120 damage. And there are gonna be times where we're gonna go for that Dragon Pulse, cause we're gonna need this additional uh, high damage to deal. Also, we're gonna use Weezing with the Detention Gas, and this is the man, the myth, the legend that does not need an introduction. You know I do like playing him, and Spluttering Sludge, 42 active, 20 to damaged benched Pokemons, plus uh, 10 damage to the basic ones with the Detention Gas as the turn ends each turn, right? So, one, two, right, so two damage uh, counters when the turn goes back to you on your opponent's basic Pokemons. And let's go just card by card. So as you can see, the deck is quite simple. The deck does not have a lot of different cards. It's quite consistent. We have a line of four Noibat, four Noivern, then four Coughings, four Weezings, and one Mew. Why we have the Bench Barrier Mew? Well, there are many, and I mean many, many, many uh, decks that are attacking the bench, and I just wanted to have some tech card that can protect what I'm building on bench, that can protect my next turns, my next moves, and Mew is really good for that. Of course, if you don't want it, don't need it, you can discard it with Mysterious Treasure or anything else. Uh, of course, some might say that you might actually play the Stop Lolly with the swapping damage, but uh, I found out that, you know, the deck performs best the way it is right now. Let's go to trainer cards. We have 31 trainer cards. We've got two adventure bags to find, and that's gonna surprise you, Dragon Talon, of course, uh, four Dragon Talons that we play, and uh, to find spell tag. So we will have the tools already as we are attacking. Four Mysterious Treasures, four Poké Gears, three Pokémon Communications, uh, two Shrines of Punishment, because we are baby deck so definitely we can deal some damage with this for Cynthia's two Kogus trap uh, for the turn one turn two or uh, for those you know really tough moments when you need this additional damage on top of what you're dealing one Lily one Tate and Liza four dragon talents four spell tags on top of that two recycle energy because again for the boom burst and for Full adore, as someone would say, and splattering sludge, you need colorless, so it's really cool to you know have the energy that's gonna come back to you uh, into your hand, so you don't really worry about energy in your hand. But of course, for uh, the dragon pulse, we have four dark type energies and six psychic type energies, and that's the whole deck, like that's the whole idea. And I can tell you this yesterday. I played with it for almost whole whole stream and loved it. Honestly, that was the best uh, spread deck I've played recently. And I, you know, I like spread decks, right? You know, I like uh, that idea. So let's just go. Let's play a few games. Of course, the whole deck is down there below, down there in the description, uh, and also in the description you have. Spread me Noivern, yeah. Uh, also, you have 5% uh, discount any code with purchase on Professor Oak and my private card market page for those who live in Europe. All right, so we're looking for an opponent, and do you want to go first or do you want to go second? As you probably know, you want to go first, right? Because you want to evolve uh, to Noivern, you want to evolve to Weezing. Of course, what is you know what's going to happen if uh, you actually 
start with Mew? Well, it's not that bad, because again, Mew puts damage counters on your opponent's bench, so you can still prepare uh, your, your opponent's side. Of course, there are matchups that is, are really tough, like honestly, Reshazad is super tough matchup, and I did struggle with it quite a lot. But we've beat uh, Reshaza, we've beat many decks that are considered top tier. Uh, Guardian, you know, Caldeo, all of that, because we go, of course, under under those radars. Uh, and unfortunately, alright, so my opponent is mulliganing as well, that's good. Uh, so we're both going to draw additional cards, and let's see what we're going to get. And of course, because a lot of you told me to, I am playing Sleeves, right? We've got Sleeves uh, today, Pikachu Sleeves, uh, actually from a league. So yes, I'm using sleeves. <laughs> like I don't know why all of you know told me like, hey, why you not don't play sleeves? I'm like, yeah, because I just forgot uh, about them. Because when you save the deck, default are no sleeves, right? Okay, so please wait while your opponent chooses an active Pokemon. Sure. Well, let's see. Like in the meantime, I can actually check the coffee. All right, it's good. Like it's it's good. It could have been a little bit better, but it's still good. It's still you know in the range of top tier, top tier cafe, as you might say. So we start with Noibat. Of course, what is w important with the Noivern is no retreat cost. As you can see, there's literally no uh, retreat cost. So it's really really good to have. Oh, that is Baby Blaze. All right, Baby Blaze Cephalon. Uh, or it might still be a Reshazad, because as we know, uh, Robin Schultz played Blacephalon in his in his deck. All right, we've got Chamander, so going for the Charizard. A Welder, of course, fantastic card. I mean, Welder is such a fix. It's incredible what it does. Uh, so Blacephalon, third energy, and we're going to see passing the turn. <laughs> Uh, that is not gonna be pretty. I'm. I. I have to tell you that. So it's gonna be Pokemon communication for a coughing. Okay. Mm, spell tag definitely. And because I know I want to use the Dragon Pulse, right? Like, I have to go for the Dragon Pulse. I can do two things. I can either put the energy right now on the Noibat, or I can put it on the Kafeng. And to be quite honest, I just want to put it on Noibat first. Because I'm going to try to get that Noivern. Like, that's my idea right now. We did not draw well. Uh, missed Poké Gears. It happens, right? It happens. It's okay. Uh, it's all good. TV reporter. I, I know he needs two energies in hand only, and he's gonna discard them. But TV reporter, really interesting play, right? You don't really see a TV reporter that often. All right. So fireball circus. N what? What? Okay, so he played Fireball Circus and literally did nothing. No, this is this is gonna be tough. That's gonna be a tough decision. Cause I can play that energy here on the Neuburn or I can play it on Weezing. Hmm. Let me think. You know, let's go wheezing. Okay, let's just put it on wheezing. And what he was thinking, what he was thinking with the fireball circus. Like this lets me believe that this is the first time he actually plays the deck one fire crystal for one energy he needs two for the fireball circus so how many I think he's gonna you know discard two yep so he's discarding two uh, wheezing is gonna go as an active so we're gonna promote that wheezing 
and already dealing damage with the Weezing. Oh crap. The one game I didn't want it to break. Oh man. Oh, this deck does not like me today. So I'm gonna have to rely on a lack of anything from my opponent. Because I mean, normally you don't really play Charizard with the Blaze because they are contradictory. You know, you're getting rid of uh, the energy from your deck. But he also, you know, he might just retreat a Blaze and attack with Charizard. Because right now he has a knockout with the Charizard. Okay, he's. I'm gonna play Fire Crystal, alright. Blue's Tactics. Not a bad idea. Actually, Blue's Tactics in that deck is not a bad idea. Let me tell you. But what is a bad idea is everything I'm doing. Yep, that's a game. So we bricked. So game one we bricked. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like that we bricked. Again, spread decks do brick sometimes. You know, I know you can play uh, Pokemon Fan Club. But honestly, now that was the hardest brick we had with this deck today. Okay. We're going first. This is looking a lot better. Right now, let's see the first draw. He's mulliganing. There we go. We've got Weezing. We've got Mysterious Treasure. We've got Shrine of Punishment out of all the things. And I have no clue what is he playing. Tax switch. Um, four mulligans. Wow. Just wow. Tapu Koko. Okay. All right. So, adventure bag, that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab the talent and the spell tag, you know, as you do. A dragon talent is gonna go, of course, on the Noibat, so we're gonna have that prepared. Uh, and pass the turn, like, I have everything in my hand that I need for the next turn. We've got Shrine of Punishment, we've got Treasure, uh, we've got Weezing, Noiver, also Cynthia, so definitely I'm okay here, right? Like in this uh, this position, I am okay. Definitely know we miss DCE and we miss uh, cards like Tapu Koko. That was a nice uh, spread attacker, but it's still it's still uh, working quite well. Energy spinner, okay. Oof! But that's fire and uh, what? Okay. Um, Fire type energy and electric type energy. So I'm kind of like I'm a little bit confused. What am I facing? I mean, you get the point, right? You know, what is happening? All right. So I'm gonna get rid of spell tag. Get another Noivern. There we go. So I'm all good, I'm all prepared for what is uh, to come. I don't want to play Shrine of Punishment now, because he does not play anything. So Cynthia. Oh. Mew. And I missed that energy, but okay. It is a-okay, it's a-okay, we've got Cynthia. For the next, of course, that's kind of a misplay. You should not play Poke Gear at the end of your turn, just before your uh, your uh, saying your t uh, la, 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 la. as you're ending your turn, right? As you're finishing your turn. Okay. Now I know. All right. So this is a fire engine on the bird trio. Thank goodness for the Mew at this point. Honestly, Mew on the bench is mwah, like that. So I knew I had I, I had this feeling to bench that Mew and Mew protects me from the Sky Legend GX and 110 damage on three of my Pokemons. Of course, he passed the turn. Okay, um, sure. So we got another Noivern, Cynthia. There we go. Oh, 
Okay, so I have a full bench. Spluttering sludge, and let's go for it. I feel like, you know, the biggest problem right now for me is not getting the energy that I want. But it's okay. Alright, so he is, of course, getting rid of that Tapu Koko. Well, he's still missing water type energy. And that's why he did not attack. Of course, with the water type energy, he, he can attack for 110 damage everywhere and shuffle this card back to the deck. But this 110 damage is not really enough to get rid of Weezing or. But a Trinity Burn is. <laughs> Let's be honest, Trinity Burn is enough to, 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 to get rid of my stuff. Alright, so there goes Noivern, and let's see. Cynthia. Recycle energy, okay. Now we're all good. We've got that recycle energy, and that is the best news, because now... I know I can just start, start uh, dealing some damage. Of course, it's not a lot of damage. Uh, let's be quite honest about that. It's not a lot of damage. <laughs> let's go, Noivern. Okay, Viridian Forest. Um, well, it is gonna help me to a certain degree. Oof. I mean. Come on, no full art welder at this point. Come on, come on. <laughs> of course, you know I'm 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 joking. As you know, um, hmm. Okay, let's play Weezing for the detention gas. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build towards I'm gonna build towards 120 Dragon Pulse attack. Because mm, gives me psy uh, well, psychic psychic as well. So we're gonna have another Weezing. We've got those spell tags. Those are single price attackers, so it's still okay to me. To just stall the game only with Weezing and this detention gas. Just a little bit. He definitely plays, you know, some mixed herbs. He definitely plays some great potions. Uh, Victinius are deck for two basic. Uh, all right. Come on, I believe. I do believe in what we are doing right now. Okay, so he's switching. So not really attacking, that is quite interesting, especially to me, because I mean I get it, he is gonna use a GX attack at certain point. But I'm slowly dealing that damage to the bench. Which let's be honest is really, really important right now to me. Any damage that goes through, right? Any damage that goes through. Alright, Trinity Burn. <sighs> okay, he's down to three prize cards. Wheezing. Mm hmm. I have to deal that damage. Right, so I want to let him know that, uh, man, I don't have that energy that I need. Because <sighs> if he's gonna knock me out right now, 
He's gonna be at 180, which means I'm gonna be able to knock him out with Noivern. But Super Scoop up might work. But it ah, oh, it does not work. There we go. Super Scoop up does not work. Of course he still has a GX attack. But I don't think he's going to use it. Right, Welder. So see, not giving up, not giving up, uh, not giving up is super important right now, come on. I mean, it all comes down to what is he going to do. And he goes Sky Legends GX, alright, so he left, okay. So, Bench is okay, I know he's, this specific Pokemon is back in, in, in his deck, but look at that, alright, so. Oh boy, wait. Now this is going to be quite important. Shrine of Punishment. Okay. Um, Pokemon Communication, let's just see what we have left. I just want to see what cards we have left in the deck. We still have Koga's Trap, alright, so I'm just going to thin out a deck a little bit to maybe get that Koga's Trap uh, later. We've got a Poke Gear. Done. So we're doubling on the damage. I know I have a knockout with the Noivern. It's okay, you know. This one turn with Shrine of Punishment was really enough for me. Like, it was okay. Like, really. That was all I really, really needed to do. Alright. Switch. So it's gonna be switch, ret oh no, he's gonna actually attack. Okay, so he's just giving me turns at this point, but also, you know, I'm giving him ways to heal. Oh, come on. I mean, let's be honest. Baby deck like that, that is a spread, right? Does not, you know, have huge attacks. Is tr not really struggling against, uh, against, against, against a deck like, you know, Bird's Trio. Fla. So he went for a knockout, so he knows I'm just gonna knock him out here. I mean, at this point, he knows. Like, he knows that I have to play Noivern. But we also have got this fantastic Dragon Talon that is going to deal 30 additional damage. But is this going to be enough? Kogus Trap! We drew the Kogus Trap, okay. There we go. Dragon Pulse, 120 damage, going, coming through. 250. Oh, that is... That is intense, let me tell you. That is intense. I mean, he can retreat. And I feel like he is going to retreat, he played... No! He missed! Oh my goodness, he missed! Shrine of Punishment is gonna get him! He missed! Mm. Okay, so Boom Burst. That's a knockout. What a game. What a game that is. But that is a GJ. I he can't do anything. He can have one knockout, and that's it. We're both at two prize cards. There is Shrine of Punishment, 120 damage that I can deal from my bench. Dragon Talon, you can stamp me whatever you want. That is not happening for you. Stamp to Pokemon Communication. It is a okay, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is a power. That is a power of.
Baby decks right now. I told you the deck is really good. I told you. I believed in that deck. Of course, let's be honest, he can still do stuff. Um, so let's look here. Uh, six fire type energies. Tag switch. Alright, so he's. Okay, so he is going to try switching. Super scoop up. Not working. Oh, he is going for it. Like, he is trying to get, like, every single thing he can do. Great potion. He has to. He has to use that great potion. And he just passed the turn. That's a game. That is a game. Shrine of Punishment winning the game. Uh, what a game that was, ladies and gentlemen. What a game that was with our fantastic Weezing spread. And Weezing spread and with Neuvern, of course, just winning the game against the Bird Strew. How amazing is that? And of course, that was a Bird Strew that was healing, that was doing all those kinds of stuff. But well, we picked up a win at the very end. So thank you guys so much for watching that video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon Trading Card Game decks, uh, more ideas, uh, more news from Pokemon Trading Card Game World, but also from some, you know, VGC stuff, uh, as we sometimes, you know, post, or pack openings, anything like that. And down there below in the description, 5% discount on any code you would purchase on Professor Oak. Thank you guys so much. Goodbye, and good night. Boing!